Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering and Dean Academic of Care College of Engineering, Trichirapulli. So, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about the crossword puzzle in the subject Engineering Thermodynamics. So, presently, I am te teaching Engineering Thermodynamics. I have conducted a crossword puzzle in the subject, an activity, game-based activity. I will discuss here the way of creating the crossword puzzle and the impact of this activity in the student learning. The name of the activity is crossword puzzle. The class is third semester mechanical engineering. Number of students present during the activity is 18. They, they were grouped into nine teams, two per team. The course code and the name ME3391 engineering thermodynamics. The topic covered in the puzzle the first three units of engineering thermodynamics, that is thermodynamics fundamentals, loss of thermodynamics, entropy and exergy. The objective of the puzzle is to check the remembrance of the remembrance on the basic terminologies, units and the answer to the simple questions of the students. It is only checking their memory, how effectively they learn the subject. And the tool used for creating the online puzzle it is the puzzle maker, uh, it is available, so I have shown the link here. So, I will demonstrate how to create the puzzle using the puzzle maker and uh, conducting the activity. So, go to the website. So, you have the uh, create your own crisscross puzzle discovery education, puzzlemaker.discoveryeducation.com. You click here. So, you can select crisscross. This is the activity. There are only simple two steps. You have to name the entry or title of the puzzle. For example, example, I, I just type example. And uh, here, I am not going to use the words. I am going to use the sample data available inbuilt in the game. So, there are some sample questions. Heller is the answer. The question catch hyphen 22. So, there are few words given. So, the first you have to type the answer, comma, then you are, uh, type your question. So, uh, you can take any number of words. Then, you click the create my puzzle. So, you will get the puzzle here. So, this is the crossword puzzle and there are the questions. So, you have to take a printout of this and share to the uh, students so that they will write the answer for the question, either across or the down. For your reference, for the teacher's reference, you can click show answer. So, the answer will be shown here. You can take it as a printout and use it for reference for correcting the paper. So, for my subject, so I, I have taken the uh, questions from the thermodynamics. ME3391 Engineering Thermodynamics. This puzzle number one. So I have typed the questions and the crossword puzzle is created. So the answers also, there are 20 questions here. The answers also I have taken a printout for verifying the uh, correcting the paper. And the activity was conducted. The activity was conducted and uh, I, have, I have scanned the uh, sample answer paper of the student. This is the team, team member. Sakti Nadan and Praveen Kumar, they got 5 out of 20. So, this is, this is how they enter and I shared the answers also in the classroom. They have written the answers on the, with a pencil here. After conducting the activity, I have corrected and uh, I asked the student to write down the feedback about the activity, how it helped them to learn. For all the nine teams, I have collected the feedback. So, learn the units of power, energy and the pressure. So, from the puzzle activity, they learned the units of power, pressure and energy to improve our thermodynamic knowledge. So, it helps to improve the thermodynamic knowledge and learn important words. That is what the feedback given by the this particular uh, group of students. I have collected the feedback from all the students. I, I have consolidated. Then. This is the team mark. There are nine teams. The marks scored by the various teams are given here. 
the rate of the date and time of activity 1910 2024 9 to 9 30 am in the morning first period so initially 10 minutes i have given them time to just revise have a glance in their in their notebook or notes for various terminologies then i shared the question ask them to answer maximum time available uh, allowed was only 20 minutes so within 20 minutes they have to complete so everybody completed we have collected the marks are shown here for the team wise the average mark is 5.9 so it is 6 average team mark is 6 and the average percentage of mark is 30 so 30 percentage is the mark obtained so they, they, that means the memory power the remembrance capacity the fundamental basic of the basic cognitive process remember so that is also difficult for them we have to analyze why so this this is what the forgetting curve it is available online you can you can uh, you can download and share with your students so what the curve uh, what is the inference from the curve so when you teach the subject inside the classroom immediately uh, the students they can remember 100 percent of the content whatever you delivered after 20 minutes they were able to remember only fifth percentage then after one day it is around 30 percentage so what they remember from your subject so what you taught in the previous day so if you look at after 31 days a month of time it comes down to 20 percentage so for any human being so after one month of time what is the information we store in our mind it is only uh, 20 percentage it is not only for a student it is for everybody so how to improve the retention of information inside the in the mind in the subconscious mind or long-term memory so the best tool is revision of the subject so first time we are teaching so we have to revise them revise the content frequently so if you look at here on the third review they were able to remember at almost 50 percent of the information so this is the power of revising the subject as a teacher we can plan for the uh, revision or the student they have to uh, they have to on their own they have to do the revision that is very important we have to educate the student the power of revising the subject and make them to revise so our we have to uh, we have to plan in our classroom we have to plan and uh, uh, monthly plan or weekly plan we have to make the, we have to revise the content and this is what the feedback consolidated feedback given by the students knowledge improve this type of activity very useful to understand the subject it is useful to study two more question and answer improve the knowledge on the basics and analyze our level of understanding help in remembering the concepts really a brainstorming activity which triggered our brain to work fast learn important words remember technical words game is interesting to answer and to learn so a similar type of activity we have to design and uh, we have to make them to recall the terminology recall the information so that they can remember for a longer time actually this activity i have conducted as a surprise activity so on surprise activity the the average mark was six we can inform the activity one day in advance so we can give them 24 hours time so that they can some of the students at all some of the students they may prepare and come to the class so the performance will be better the mark will be better in the uh, this activity so thank you for watching you try to implement try to conduct so for today's generation the, there will be effective learning when they are involved in the learning process when they when they are involved in the learning process they can remember the information in a better way so thank you if you have any queries or clarification you can write to me uh, in my mail id or whatsapp number i will answer to your questions thank you